The More You Know, brought to you by Flagstaff, Rockwood, building better RVs, making smarter RVers. As I understand it, Mr. Byler, there are two basic kinds of, uh, I don't know, construction types of RVs, if you will. Uh, you, you see the metal kind with like a corrugated metal, and then you see the fiberglass kind. What are those called, and why are they even, you know, why do we have two different kinds, construction types? Yeah, that's it's a great question. I, I think there's two different kinds of construction types because there's two different kinds of budgets, right? And um, in the industry, we call it stick and tin, which is the, the metal side and the, and the wood backer. Um, that tends to be a more inexpensive product and more for somebody that's just getting started and maybe uh, doesn't want to spend a lot of money. Uh, the laminated side... Uh, smooth side, if you will, is the second uh, part of that equation. Usually a little bit more money. They, they call those ultralights many times as well um, that are insulated. Uh, and, and oftentimes maybe the second purchase that somebody will make. You know, somebody might spend money on a stick and tin. I'll just keep using that reference. Mm -hmm. That's okay. But they might spend money on a stick and tin, realize that, hey, the camping life is really what I want to do, and now they're ready for something different. So um, we got like two definite classes, different classes. Again, insulation value, the, the materials involved in a, in a laminated product, a lightweight product, are, are a little bit different as well because you're using aluminum and then the bonding agents and the, the, the different uh, insulation versus basically wood and the uh, you know, uh, pink fiberglass insulation inside, right? So, 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 so the those are just some of the basic differences. Stick and tin. It's when you say it, it doesn't sound very good, but I know yeah, that. I know that it doesn't. It, but I know that that's a term that people use, and that and that's absolutely fine. Stick and tin does not mean it's a bad RV. It just means no. that typically you can, in fact, you can get pretty much the same floor plan that you see on a laminated RV in a stick and tin, you're just not getting the quality of construction because, because there, I mean, there are many, many ways that the stick and tin are built that are different from the travel trailers or fifth wheels with uh, laminated construction, but uh, the price point is a whole lot less. That's exactly right. It's, it's like going into a music store, Alan, and all the guitars are there. They all look the same, but you could buy an entry-level guitar and it's two hundred dollars, or a, a Martin or a Taylor guitar, at at two thousand. But they look exactly the same, which I think is what you're talking about with the floor plan. So then it becomes, well, what kind of wood are they using? What kind of fret? It's the same thing with RVs. It's the exact same thing, and it's just understanding that process, understanding what those differences are for a first time buyer is very important. That way, at least you know you've done that research. You know what you're you're going to get into. 